Welcome to the channel guys. As you can see here, we've got a brand new watch. It's a Manta Ray from Oceanica. They've sent that out for us to have a look at and close review. We don't have to send it back and a very interesting watch indeed. In fact, at that 39 mil case diameter, sapphire crystal ceramic bezel, Miota movement, that beautiful rubber strap with that fantastic mil clasp, it's quite a good watch. Quite an interesting offering and I think very, very good value for money. So stick around guys as we have a closer look at this new watch from Oceanica, the Manta Ray. Welcome back to the channel guys. So as you can see here, we've got the box, the packaging for the Oceanica. It's the Manta Ray. An interesting box with their logo. Nothing untoward, made out of pine, but I like it when they, you know, they include something decent like this. Nothing too exceptional, nothing untoward. Like I said, it's uh, probably saving a little bit of money, but putting more money into the watch. What we've got here is their warranty card, one year warranty, as well as the watch. So let's pull this off here. Oh, this is cool. My cat's gonna love this, so <laughs> that's fantastic. So let's all put this stuff aside, just there. And this is what we're here for, the Manta Ray. I quite like this watch, guys. I, I was actually uh, playing with it for the better part of a week, and I thought, you know what? It was wearing smaller than I in, in initially anticipated. I thought, gee, I thought it was a 40 mil. It's actually a 39 mil watch. It's a 39 mil case with a 40 mil bezel. and. Because of that, it actually wore really well on the wrist and I've been enjoying it, especially with that bracelet or that rubber strap and that clasp. That is exceptional. For a micro brand to offer something like this, and this is their own design, their own uh, innovation, and I really like that. I really like how this watch wears. So let's get stuck into its review. Let's get stuck into its specs to see what we've got. So basically we've got a case diameter of 39 millimeters, whereas the bezel itself is 40. The lug to lug distance is 48 mil. I measure the case height in at 12.5 mil and the lug width is 22. Now, that's an unusual proportion having a 22 mil lug width with a 39 mil case, which initially, visually, I sort of found that a little bit, oh, it, it's, it's awkward. I thought maybe it could have been 20, but not 22. But I tell you what, guys, after wearing it on the wrist, I understand why. See, being a smaller watch, that 22 mil gave it a little bit more presence and stability. So let's check this out. So as you can see, the watch wears beautifully on the wrist. Being a 39 mil case, it's really petite, especially on my seven inch wrist. It, it's comfortable, 12 and a half mil, no problems for a diver or a dive style watch, no issues whatsoever. And I like it because the bezel, like I said, is at 40 mil compared to a 39 mil case. It just gives you that extra half mil on each side to be able to grab it. But the thing that the real hero of this watch, I know the size is nice, the look is quite decent, being a, a skin diver or a mid 1960s design, I like it. But that rubber strap, that rubber strap, that that buckle is fantastic. In fact, probably one of the best micro adjustments on the market in a rubber strap. And I'll show you why. Let's take this thing off. If you have a look at that buckle, it doesn't need to go in any hole. It's basically held together by pressure. So what you need to do is simply Pull it up just like that and adjust it to wherever you want and the pressure of the actual the force of the clasp holds it down so you don't ideally you don't even need holes on this thing which is brilliant and when you lock it in super comfortable experience i'm seriously enjoying this this is a uh, a wonderful innovation i think you know many manufacturers can learn from this rather than your standard tang buckle and all the rest this is great you know fully milled very very nicely finished extremely extremely impressive but getting back to the watch itself guys quite an interesting very sexy looking watch especially with a high gloss black the black uh, strap the black dial nice very very nice and like i said i don't mind that 22 mil lug width it's normally i'd have proportion wise a 20 possibly even an 18 on a 39 mil uh, case but you know what it actually works for stability and it gives you that little bit more on that wrist which i think you need especially with the bigger guys so but the movement in this is a Miyota 9015. It beats at 28,800 beats per hour. 
I've thrown it on the time grapher and the result as you can see we've got an amplitude of 251 0, 0.0 milliseconds beat error and a health and a gain of about eight seconds per day so the thing is in beat which is great let's check out this crown we've got a roughly six millimeter crown for me it's probably a little bit thin a little bit difficult to grab because of that size I would have preferred maybe a seven or even a, a, a longer crown nonetheless even a bigger crown would have been nice for me but it is what it is it's probably petite because of the taste size let's unscrew it pops out as you can see two clicks and we can hack the movement so that seconds hand has stopped we can adjust the time just there and lock it in again a single click will allow us to adjust the date as you can see the date is changing 7th 8th away you go the winding experience nice firm resistance it's the Miyota 9015 and the latch down experience we push it in it latches on no issues so some people might find it difficult to grab the crown because it is small but that's probably the only sort of grab the the action itself is very nice beautifully signed no problems now the case itself features high polish on the sides with radial brushing on the top. So your classic 1960s, 1970s skin diver, really cool, really retro, I don't mind it. Now the bezel on this watch is a ceramic insert. It's a 120 click unidirectional and it's loomed. So all the markers are loomed as well as the pip. It's BGW9 Super Luminova. So let's have a listen to it first. Nice and crisp. I can't find any back play, which is cool, and it lines up beautifully. So no problems. Quality control, no issues, especially this model I've got here. Now the dial on this, if you look, it's a matte black, and it's got its Oceanica 200 meters water resistance, and it says Manta Rain Red. So nice, simple balance with a date at the three o'clock. The date window is framed as well, so a good, legible, quite a nice experience here. Overall, guys, I think the size of the watch is pretty cool. The size, the, the, the petiteness, but it fits well and it sits really well on the wrist. Now, looking at that sapphire crystal, it's a flat sapphire and it's got clear anti-reflective coating and it's doing a really good job. You're not losing that dial, which is great. And like I said, the height comes in at about 12.5. That's what I measured, 12.5 mil, but it sat really good on the wrist nonetheless. So let's have a look at the case back of the watch. And if we can see there, it's basically a signed stamped case back with a manta ray, very nice, very clean. There's no harsh bits anywhere, so it does sit comfortably on the wrist. But um, guys, the hero of this is that strap. I know it's, uh, you can see a little bit of lint there, but the comfort of this strap from 22 down to about 19 mil, about 24 mil at that clasp is superb. That, that, that comfort that I'm getting out of this is really good, really enjoyable. Lastly, let's have a look at the loom on this watch, guys. It features Swiss BGW9 on the indices which are applied, the hands, the actual ceramic bezel as we saw the insert. So check out the loom, and as you can see, a nice even application. It glows blue. It's very, very clean. Uh, being a smaller watch, being a slightly smaller indices and so forth, I think there's only a certain amount of loom they can hold, but they're doing a, a pretty decent job nonetheless. So look, guys, not bad. Not bad for an offering from Oceanica. I think a, a decent company, you know, offering a quality finish. I can't fault it's, you know, for the price you're paying, it's really cool. The the only sort of gripe I can have is that crown. I would have preferred, and this is a personal subjective thing, I would have preferred a slightly bigger crown, uh, only because my fingers, I don't know, maybe because I've been working in the garden, I've scratched them up today, but yeah, it, just grabbing that would have been a little bit easier for me, but the overall fit finish, the way it sits on the wrist, very cool very very cool so guys check them out have a look at their website i highly recommend you look at them i hope you enjoyed that review leave me your comments let me know what you think about this watch what your experiences have been with the company for me i'm liking what i'm seeing so thanks again guys and we'll see you in the next video